morning and um, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't seen my face before, my name is Barbara and I'm on the continentally wide trail through hike from Mexico to Canada. 3000 miles in total. Soon I've got done 1000 miles so I'm pretty much like one third in so there is uh, still quite a bit to go. I'm sort of just in the end of the San Juan mountains soon today entering Lake City resupply town. The night was unexpected warm. I thought it to be minus degrees, degrees but it was really plus but extremely windy. Uh, in some point my tent collapsed and I really had to go out and fix the whole thing again. Luckily nothing got broken. It's a brand new tent so <coughs> <coughs> I'm happy for this, uh, but it was very very beautiful and the sunrise this morning was just gorgeous. Uh, I have some miles to go to uh, pass and from there I will hitch in to Lake City, resupply. And now I push on because it might be thunderstorms coming and up here I'm very very exposed, so it might be smart to move on. I'm now in Lake City and resupplied for four days to reach Monarch Pass. So um, we start with the bars, five bars per day, with each about 150 to 200 calories. Then we have a breakfast, which is granola, coconut flakes and two bags of hot chocolate, one to mix into the granola and the other one for the coffee. As a lunch, we've got a ramen with soy sauce, which I either use or not, and then some kind of proteins. This is now salmon or a spam, some kind of shitty stuff, which I showed you earlier in a video, with some mustard. And yeah, and as a dessert for the lunches, always two cookies. Then we have the Dinner, this is pretty new for me. I learned it from my friends, Tim and Rene. Stove top, cornbread is the one kind, the other one is the turkey, which I mix with dehydrated black beans. And I roll them in with sandwich spread to a tortilla. And of course, coffee during all the day breakfast, lunch and in the afternoon, some spices and dehydrate, this is vitamins and then I add some Himalaya salt to the water for hydration. That's pretty much it. Um, yeah, and I hope this will bring me to Monarch Pass. Hi, yeah, back, back on trail after resupplying in uh, Lake City. Uh, I have my food for these four days now all in the backpack, count it nicely. Um, but normally this first day after town there is not uh, really going as much food as the following days and the reason for it is this <laughs> so-called hiker hunger which uh, really makes us eating whatever in whatever amounts during time we are in town. So um, yesterday was a very typical day, maybe three warm meals and a lot of snacks and chips and sweets and some beers during a half a day. So um, pretty well fed, so it, it, it's sort of a nice feeling always this first day that you are not constantly hungry. Uh, yeah, this constant hungry feeling, it, uh, it's sort of annoying sometimes. You have to learn to deal with it. it um, uh, we call it hiker hunger, <laughs> just uh, a constant situation. Uh, 
Yeah, we, we, this means my friend, friends, Tim and René. I mean, we got the ride up to the pass this morning and um, I think we still, or once again, really will stick to it, together for the next coming four days to Monarch Pass because um, Tim's family is coming up meeting them, so they might take one to two zeros after that and I'll not wait. So it might be that our common time on and off hiking a bit together might be finished for a while. So I'll enjoy this company still and looking forward to my own time, my solitude again after this. So I feel very, very nice right now. I am in um, the 1000 mile marker, which means 1600 and something kilometers, exactly 113 of the trail. Uh, the two days thunderstorm just is on the way out. I still hear it a little bit in the background, but like you can see, the sun is already here. So that's really the good thing in the Colorado thunderstorms. It's day stop. It's like one hour you get soaking wet, but uh, the sun is drying up everything again. It's very nice. Here we go. It's still there. Um, but um, it feels very good to be here. It feels a bit weird, strange. It feels that it goes very quick, but it's a, it's a good feeling. But quick and quick. I really have to hurry up if I want to finish this trail between 15th and 20th of September. I have to average like 25 miles a day, including resupply stops, which means in practice, like I would say about one marathon a day on a real full walking day. But um, I think I will do it because all the difficult parts, they, they are behind. There is still coming mountain ranges, of course, that California is full of. Wyoming has mountains, Montana has mountains, but the, the legs are getting stronger and um, the snow conditions are now clear. It's like uh, just forwarding. Uh, but yeah, I really have to make my moving effective and keep on going. But I feel pretty much ready for it. It's, it's, um, it's nice. It's a good feeling. It's a little painful to get these hay balls to the ass, then you pack your pack. I try to get now under a tree in case they should grow bigger still.
morning. Um, I'm now like 20 miles before Monarch Pass, Monarch Pass, which is should be my next resupply stop. I was planning to resupply sort of on trail in a gas station, which doesn't have really too much choice, but um, I would really manage because I thought to save some time. But now it seems that I really messed up my time saving plan a bit. During the San Juan, I broke one of my shoes, or actually both, pretty completely, um, which forced me to buy just whatever in the last resupply stop in Lake City. And I got a shoe which was pretty hard. I was a bit convinced that this will be not so good for my knee. It felt good otherwise, but um, anyhow, I was forced to try. I carried the old one with me just in case, oh, however, but um, the first day was pretty good and then it just got worse and worse with my knee. It was simply a too hard shoe for my arthritis knee. Um, yeah, and it ended yesterday that I hardly could walk. Um, I had as well a pretty bad night now, really pain, and it's not much better this morning. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's not good. But um, now I would have the possibility to hitch down from Monarch Pass in a town called Salida, which seems to have outfitters, which as well has shoes. But uh, it's Saturday. Saturday evening it will be when I hitch down, Sunday the coming day, uh, which means it might be closed. I have to figure this out and if it's closed it will mean one more waiting day again, which is time losing. Uh, yeah, I don't know. The other option is that I hike on for four days with uh, kind of a mixture of this hard shoe and the broken shoe and then be able to go in in one day in and out to Silverthorn where I probably would find a shoe as well. Uh, that's a risk. Uh, I kind of risk very much to make the knee much much worse. Yeah, I don't know. Health should go before uh, time pressure, so I might have to decide to anyhow go into that town, Salida, tonight. But I'm not sure yet. Uh, but uh, then there is, of course, I'm very sure that it is the shoe, but additionally the weather has been in the last few days really wet, cold, humid, which is uh, not good for a trade, this neither. So, um, oh. Oh no. It was a bit hard day yesterday to realize that I really straight set fucked it up. But um, that's life. I made it. I uh, went to buy new shoes. <coughs> Beautiful blue new shoes. Um, it's the shoe I actually really wanted to have since quite a while, but it was sort of difficult to order, but that was a really, really good shop where I could get it. So I went down from Monarch Pass to Salida and back up. Now, um, in the same way, of course, I got my shower again. You can see my fresh hair. And as well, washed my clothes and resupplied for another three and a half days. Um, so I'm very, very hopeful that my knee will be much better pretty soon. It probably will take a day or two. Uh, intense stretching, intense exercises, the new good shoe again and I think I will be fine pretty soon.
the weather forecast is still pretty bad for quite some days so I got an additional rain layer but um, what I have seen so far what I really like in Colorado bad weather means still summer and then a dry window even with some sun and possibility to dry out the wet stuff like tent <coughs> and sleeping bag and the eventual clothes so um, I don't think it's that bad like we will see what it will bring yeah, like said, I as well resupplied food in Salida for three and a half days. For breakfast, I got oats this time, two portions with each about 130 calories. And there I add hot chocolate again to make it a bit more rich. And of course, another hot chocolate for the breakfast, coffee. Uh, for lunch, I got flour tortillas again which I will fill with either cheese or some salmon or even a mixture of cheese and salmon and whatever. And there additionally as a dessert I found my favorite uh, spread which is butter cookie. This is really really tasteful on a tortilla. So this will be my lunch dessert or dinner dessert as well. And then finally for dinner, there I will have either ramen noodles with uh, bacon pieces or mashed potatoes with parmesan cheese crisps. And finally as snacks, again a bunch of different kind of bars, like five bars each day. In average, we burn about four to five thousand calories a day, which is a very high amount. So it's very, very important to kind of find foods with high dense calorie density, and of course, of course, as possibly light as well, lightweight. It's all right to not eat like four to five thousand calories in total a day, but we really have to take care that we don't eat too little. It's um, weight losing is uh, almost normal. It's actually normal for all the hikers, but uh, we really should take care that we don't lose too much. Um, right now I'm still very fine. I lost a bit, but not too much. If I should start to lose too much. I'm planning to add some oils like olive oil to the meals, um, which is actually very tasty. But I experienced earlier that I can't digest it so well. It's, a, it's an easy way to get more calories into your food. But um, I don't know why, but my stomach is not doing so well with it. So um, I wait with this up, up to the moment that it's really, really needed. Yeah. It's, uh, we have a very good variation of different foods we can choose from uh, and it of course depends where we are resupplying. Like small towns they almost don't have anything I would say so we just have to take what we get. If we are in bigger places like Salida there was a Walmart and you just can, it's a dream, you can take whatever you want. But um, in a way, it's never gourmet. So the important thing is that we take care that we don't get bored of the foods because this will make life on trail hard. Yeah, now it starts raining again. So I better pack my things together and keep on moving. <laughs>